Hey everybody, this is Klaus from Plant Beast News. So in this video, Dr. Thomas Campbell, the co-author of the best-selling book, The China Study, shows us around a supermarket. We'll play the full video in a minute, but before we do, I just wanted to mention we're doing a huge giveaway, an epic giveaway worth $1,260 for anybody from the PBN audience to win. It's an opportunity for anybody in the PBN audience from anywhere in the world to win a free seat on the highly esteemed online plant-based nutrition course. There's more information about this giveaway uh, at the end of the video, but if you're interested, check the quick link down below. And if you're uh, a lucky winner, we'll let you know in the next few months. Anyway, hope you enjoy this video with Dr. Thomas Campbell. So when I talk to patients, I tell them that some of the most important health decisions they make are actually in the grocery store. So let's go ahead and walk around the grocery store and learn some tips and tricks on how to navigate this area safely. Come on. All right, so the healthiest section of the grocery store by far is the produce section. This is where you're gonna find your fruits, your vegetables, everything that you can eat in abundance and freely. And there's lots of convenience items in here. So look for things in bags that are pre-chopped and ready to cook. You just throw it in a pot. For example, there are some chopped greens here that you can just throw in a pot or throw in a salad. No work required. This should be a staple in your fridge. So in most grocery stores around the country now, you're going to find a section that's sort of the health natural section. And I talk to a lot of people, once they start getting healthy, they feel like they have to do all of their shopping here in the natural section. That's not true. There are some very useful things here in this section generally. You're going to find 100% whole grain products. You're going to find some pre-made salsas or sauces that are very low sodium, no oil added, that type of thing. But generally, there's also a lot of processed food, and we want to stay away from the processed packaged food. So you have to navigate this section carefully and get out of here pretty fast. We also have some Oats, for example, you find 100% whole grain uh, steel cut oats or whole wheat products. And then of course you have some non-dairy milks, which should be a staple as well in your fridge. Okay, so here we are in the pasta section, which becomes very popular once you give up the meat and the dairy. But you got to be careful here because a lot of the pastas are refined flours, so make sure that you're eating 100% whole grain pasta, which means 100% whole wheat, or maybe even brown rice pasta for those who are gluten-free. For the sauces, you gotta really read labels carefully. There's a lot of added salt, sugar, and fat, a lot of added oil. So you can either make your own, for example, you can find the canned, no salt added, just plain old tomatoes, sometimes with flavoring. And there may be a few brands of tomato sauce that actually have very little added fat and not a lot of added sugar. So let's take a look. And surprisingly, there's actually some heart healthy versions of some popular national brands like Ragu, uh, Newman's Own, or even Classico that have very little or no added oil, low sodium, and not that much sugar. In every store, there's usually an ethnic or world section, and you can find some pretty interesting things in here. So you can find some of the uh, canned beans that have low or no salt added and a huge variety of beans and occasionally you can find some different types of food that you've never heard of before or never tried before and it can be a fun experiment um, to, to try some of these new foods. So breakfast is the simplest meal of the day but if you go to the breakfast aisle in every grocery store I think it's the most confusing aisle in the grocery store. There's a lot of cereals that are labeled as natural or healthy and they're really not very natural and they're not very healthy. So you gotta read the labels really carefully. Either if you're gonna have the box cereal, make sure you're getting really low sugar cereal, which is pretty rare, and whole grain as much as possible. But the healthiest, the healthiest is the oats. All right, and here they are. So just a canister of oats, just like this plain oats. You cook it up with some fruit and raisins and you have a very easy, very fast, healthy breakfast. Okay, so we're in the aisle with the canned vegetables. A lot of people ask whether it's okay to eat canned vegetables. I think it's okay, but you have to be really careful about the salt content. Most canned vegetables have very high sodium content. So if you can find the no salt added or low sodium, it might be a, a safe bet. 
Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the taste of canned vegetables, but hey, for something easy, recipe fillers, take a look. All right, so we found ourselves in the spices section. This is where the chefs really get excited. And as you learn how to eat healthier and you start exploring new foods, this is where you're gonna shine. I really encourage you to try new spices and make new foods. This is where your tastes are gonna expand just enormously. One other thing, as you're trying new spices, think about checking out your natural health food store or maybe in, even an ethnic market near you. Sometimes they have spices in bulk that are unbelievably cheap compared to your normal grocery store. So the frozen section is usually my last stop at the grocery store. I stay in the frozen section just with the frozen fruits and the frozen vegetables. You're gonna find a lot of pre 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 prepared nicely chopped vegetables here that are full of nutrients and very, very convenient. You can find mixes like Southwestern style or stir fry style that require zero effort for very easy dinners. But the rest of the frozen section, stay away. All the prepared meals and uh, the frozen meats and convenience foods, be very careful. Don't even look at those. All right, so we went through the entire grocery store completed all our shopping, and we didn't even go in the bulk section. So a lot of people think when they become healthy that suddenly they have to live in the bulk section and buy weird food. That's just not true. But there can be some useful food in the bulk section. So you can find some food that is unsalted um, and raw and totally natural. Uh, some nuts if you choose to use some nuts. Um, but you got to be careful because there's a lot of sweetened foods and a lot of uh, prepared unhealthy foods in the bulk section like candies and sometimes really uh, oily granola, that type of thing, trail mix with a lot of sugar. So be careful, but you can stop here for a few things. So notice that there were entire aisles of the grocery store that we didn't even go down. We avoided the soda aisle, the cracker aisle, the potato chip aisle, a lot of the snack foods. Stay away from those foods. They're highly processed. They're mostly just fat, salt, sugar, you don't need those and they're not healthy. We also avoided the meat section and we avoided the dairy section too. So we're ending where we started, in the produce section. This is clearly the healthiest section of the grocery store. Get most of your food here. This food is what I call medicine. I hope this has been helpful. As you get better, you'll navigate the store with ease, with convenience, and with speed. Be healthy and good luck. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe for more and don't forget about the epic plant-based nutrition course giveaway that we're doing in collaboration with EcoNow and Nutrition Studies. Everyone strives to live the happiest, healthiest life they can. But for the vast majority of us, something seems to be missing. At the T. Colin Campbell Center for Nutrition Studies, we get it. Because if you aren't taking advantage of the benefits of a whole food, plant-based lifestyle, you're not getting the full value out of life. The vast majority of the people in the public are really quite confused about this topic of nutrition, which is pretty sad because now we know that nutrition ought to be the premier biomedical science of the future. You could be feeling better, living longer, being kinder to our planet, leaving a better future for the next generation, and more. That's why Dr. Campbell felt we needed a way to teach people the real science behind nutrition and how it affects our bodies, an education even most doctors rarely receive. I thought the program was fantastic. I really loved it. You absolutely do not need to have a background in nutrition to take the class. I think that the information is very easy and accessible for anybody that's interested in learning about plant-based nutrition. But the question remains, what exactly is it that's missing? If you've ever tried to understand nutrition, then you've seen the vast amount of overhyped, conflicting information out there. What can you believe? Our plant-based nutrition certificate program was created by the world-renowned Dr. T. Colin Campbell and his staff, in conjunction with prestigious online educator E. Cornell, to be scientifically based, easy to understand, and incredibly accessible. It's a six-week, three-part education on everything from how food is affected by big business to how an optimal diet can help prevent or even reverse chronic diseases like diabetes and heart disease. And all that happens with plant-based nutrition is that the benefits improve with the passage of time. And perhaps the most important thing of all, 
is that the patients are empowered by the knowledge that they are in control of this disease that was destroying their lives. Amazing, isn't it? That the key to good health is never further away than the end of your fork. And yet so many people feel it's an unattainable dream. It's not. And with the understanding you'll gain from our program, you'll have the tools to help yourself and others stop wondering what's missing and start living healthy, happy, whole lives.